Alright uh, people, in this video uh, we gonna get the mouse position uh, within the page inside a control using the jQuery and we'll find out like where exactly the X and Y coordinates are rely from the page and within the control. I mean what is the difference does it make? So if you look at, look at the screen, so this is my screen, right? So right now if I, you know, put my mouse inside this content and if I try to get the coordinates, right? So I'll get some coordinates within the content but from the page, from the start, where exactly it resides, I need those coordinates also. So in that case, jQuery helps. So let's see how it does the job. So if you look at the page. <coughs> It's pretty simple. What I have is on the top. What you see in the coral color, light coral color, is nothing but a simple div. It has an I R name ID called as result, in which I'm going to display my result, right? And then I have I have given some spacing by 20 margin. Given by I have given 20 margin difference in between these guys. And then there's one more div called as my container in which I have popped out some content which displays the name of my site I have given some defaults like height, width, background color, text align and font size blah 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 and inside of which I am putting some content so this is what I have <coughs> now if I want to get a mouse coordinate one when I am hovering my, uh, my mouse oh I am sorry not hovering I am moving my mouse over here so how can I get that <coughs> so in order to get that you need to look into this now if you can see this pretty well I'm not sure so first I need to invoke the reference of jQuery in my page alright then I need to capture the mouse move event this mouse move event on my my container div which is available this container this is my div right <coughs> so I need a track of that uh, forget this line then what I'm doing is I'm simply using the result.html result is my first upper div which is in light coral color in which I'm trying to print the x and y so how do you get x and y coordinate when you use mouse move function inside of which you pass an event using an event dot page x and page y you can get uh, you know uh, the x and y coordinate at the very same time you can use client as well if you like right so this guy when I enable this guy I'm sorry client y so when I'm going to enable this guy it is going to work so let me go back to my JavaScript which I have disabled so I'm gonna turn back in alright so I'm gonna right now uh, take these guys out so these guys will not be a part of you know the execution as you can see the actual location this is the coordinate which I'm going to display is the actual location from where the page starts so you are looking this will display coordinates from above from that you will see the coordinates right <coughs> so let me uh, go back to visual studio and let's run so this is pretty simple right the result is something in which I'm displaying the data. My container is something called as a div in which I'm displaying my coordinates, right? So let's hit refresh. And now the jQuery is activated. The moment I, mo I start moving my mouse, I can see the coordinates. But you will wonder when I come here, the location is different, right? The coordinates are different. It, it is supposed to be. 0 0 and if I come down here my width and height is 300 so it is supposed to be 300 by 300 now this is actually mapping from the top of this so that's why when I touch here <coughs> it gives me um, 10 approximately 9 or 10 outside from the left side and from the top I am 20 I'm sorry a 50 there's a gap of 50 pixels right so this is how it maps the coordinates but if I want the coordinates within the div itself so what can I do in that case uh, there's one more function the jQuery which helps and that function is offset right 
so what I need to do is on whichever container I mean on whichever control I'm trying to get an offset there's a function called as an offset so we need to use this function right and we need to enable this line so this line is actually gonna give you the exact location once from where your dev starts but we need to do a little math in here so the math is event.pjx this will give you x coordinate and there's an offset offset of left so <coughs> you are here it in uh, like in here from here you are subtracting the left okay from the page considering the page and same goes with the y so remember i said this guy takes the 50 50 from the top it we want to remove that so we are subtracting it right so now let me refresh one more time and see what happens so now as i as you can see there's a bit difference between the above and the below location now if i come here and if i see my location is uh, actually my mouse is uh, yes my mouse has perfectly pointed out so you can see the actual difference and now i started from zero zero and i'm moving ahead right so i can see my coordinates at the very same time when i come down you can clearly make out the difference so like you know from the left i'm getting an extra padding and from the top i'm getting an extra 50 right so there's a difference so this is how using an offset you get the actual coordinates like within a control right now this is a div you it may have it it may be a paragraph or something so this is how you calculate using a jquery simply all you need to do is add a reference you need to invoke a mouse move function you can do this again on like you know on click event double click event on mouse hover i mean it depends on your logic but the important thing is the parameter which you're passing from the jquery right so this guy will help you out and the good thing is like i sh i told you in the presentation like it is not necessary right so this guy can be even dot uh, let me show you this guy can be client what is wrong this guy can be client x and this guy can be client stupid client y and again the same thing is going to work let me refresh and you can see right so they are merely the same so it depends what you want to use page x or client x right so i hope this video gives you an idea when to use uh, how to get the actual coordinates from the page zero zero or within a control how do you get the location right so if you guys think this video is cool and if you really like this video then give me a thumbs up to my videos share my videos with your friends those who are in need or maybe those who want to learn subscribe me for youtube facebook and twitter add your comments and let me know what you think if you guys can request a topic if i get a time i can do it expert if you think you are better than me then please drop your uh, improvements i'll try to improve right so anyways thank you for watching this video thanks a lot bye bye